Howdy Wildcats! You may remember the picture that I uploaded into the classroom, the Roy Lichtenstein abstract violin. So, real violins have certain features, and I'll just sneak over the picture I just made. You can see that it has the top part, the neck, I guess the body, certain designs, and what Roy Lichtenstein did is use these features, but then shatter them sort of like a broken window or broken glass. So to get the shatter effect, we're just going to use a straight edge. What, what is a straight edge, by the way? Just another sheet of paper. I happen to have a nice piece of scratch paper here. That's my straight edge. If you do have one of these nearby, you can use a ruler. It's up to you. Ms. Johnson is gonna work in marker. That's just so my lines are really dark and very easily seen. However, you can work in pencil and then go over your lines later, or if you're feeling confident, use marker or crayon. Let's get started. So, Roy Lichtenstein drew some really beautiful random lines. So I want you to at least make four nice big random lines in your art from top to about the middle. Have some fun with these lines. They can be parallel, they can come from the same spot, they can fall off the page. Whatever you want. Just some nice, pretty, crazy lines. Now that we have some basics, let's make a few of them with more detail. So I'm gonna add a tight little parallel one here, just so it's interesting. And I'm gonna have some lines popping off of these main lines. They're just like popping off. Some of them are connecting these main lines. You can have connecting lines. You can have some that start and stop right here in the middle. Just have fun. Put as many of these as you want. I think I've added one, two, three, four, maybe five. Um, I think this space needs a little bit more action. I'm going to have a really big one in here. Maybe a fun parallel one right through here. One that starts here but stops there. Sure. Now that you have a collection of straight lines, let's try some really crazy curved lines. So no more ruler or straight edge. Remember I said you could just use a piece of paper. This is how that works. So you just use a piece of paper as your edge right? You can try some curve lines too. These lines are like that curved edge of the violin. So when you see that nice shape of the violin, these curve lines mimic those shapes. So you can even put one with a little design, a little letter C design, like you often see on the violin. Bumps, swirls, it can go all the way through somewhere and then stop. It can go all the way through and then stop in the middle. Whatever you like. And add some spirals to the end of your straight lines. This represents the top of the violin. And you can just put them in different directions. I'm going to put one or two crazies around here just for fun. Finally, do you remember the nice swirl design that you see inside the violin? Feel free to add one or two places with that kind of line. Really everything we've learned about lines is a part of this piece of work. Roy Lichtenstein also snuck in a musical note. So if you'd like to sneak in a musical note or two, feel free. A little musical note down there. Now let's fill in some of our space. You could add some awesome stripes. Hmm, maybe some stripes in a totally different direction. You can make some areas with stippling. Do you remember what stippling is, amazing artists? That's right. It's when there's a cluster of dots 
It opens up. Uh -huh. And Roy actually did a lot of this. Kind of like a graphic art feel. Lots of this really fun stippling. Okay. Kind of separate them and cluster and separate. You can even fill in space. You can even just fill in spaces completely. So I'll take a few spaces and just fill them in completely. You know, wherever you think you want some contrast. You know what that is. That's when things stand out. Okay. Ooh, I really like that contrast right there. I feel like that whole area stands out right here. I don't know. I just feel like I need something different. So I'm going to add some bumpy lines. And I'm kind of feeling like this space is a little empty. So I'm just going to have some fun with some crazy curves. Yeah, I like that. And maybe one or two more. The last part of your art is to just fill in the spaces you think need to be filled with dots called symbols in any pattern you like. Dark spaces. Any shape that you like. Have fun with it. Or stripes that you think make the work feel complete. You can also add beautiful random colors to this piece of work. To do so, you can use marker or crayon. Whatever you have around the house. Some of you may even have a little paint and you could have a lot of fun painting in each one of these spaces with different color or one color or deciding on a motif like warm, cool, analogous, complimentary, you name the color theme. You could try any and all of that. So I'll see you later amazing artists. I can't wait to see what you created in your Roy Lynchenstein abstract violin.